30th July 2018, this 14 year old female spade beagle comes in with a complaint of the back. Okay, back pain or back not walking well. Okay, so you walk straight, lose the least, the least. What is the vet doing? And how will it help him diagnose the problem? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tupayo Vets. This video is about the lameness examination in a beagle. Singapore is a city. Most residents live in apartments. There are pockets of landed properties. These are mainly townhouses or terraced houses. The owner has two dogs, a 14-year-old beagle and a 14-year-old golden retriever. The dogs live in a three-story terraced house in Singapore. They love to climb up to the third story to sleep. Over the years, the hip joints and spinal area get worn down. The following video shows the first stage of the procedure, where the vet observes the dog walking and trotting. Trotting is defined as walking at a faster pace. 30th July 2018, this 14-year-old female spade beagle comes in with a complaint of the back. Okay, back. Pain or back not walking well. Okay, so you walk straight, loose the least, the least loose, and then walk just walk normally. Walk, 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 uh, just walk loose, uh, correct. One more time. Uh. Okay, one more time. Walk, walk faster a bit. Okay, come back. The next video shows the physical examination of the dog, where the vet palpated the dog's spine to look for signs of pain. <laughs> Okay, this is the, the place. So it's uh, considered as this disease, huh? intervertebral this disease, X-rays. Okay. The final stage is advising the owner. The main job of a vet is to advise, and for this case, the vet advised that the owner restrict the dog from climbing stairs, only allowing it to remain on the ground floor. Additionally, the vet advised that the owner monitor the dog's weight and prevent it from gaining more weight to prevent stressing the hip and spinal joints. The outcome after the diagnosis and the advice is that the owner is pleased with the dogs being able to walk normally. He reported on the 27th of August that both dogs can walk very well and are doing fine. In conclusion, a systematic process of examination of all joints for lameness is important. For example, some vets may miss out on spinal joint examination. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit topayovets.com or call or email these contacts.